So most therapists will start by creating a hierarchy of fears. So for any given obsession, you can create a hierarchy. So let's say germs, for example. Um, now you would talk with your therapist, you would come up with a hierarchy going from the least difficult to the most difficult. So which things would evoke the smallest amount of anxiety and which would be really, really difficult. Um, and you basically work your way up that hierarchy. Now they'll, they'll start with something that feels manageable and, and doable for you. And as you then kind of get used to that, you go up the hierarchy. Um, the analogy that I often give to people is kind of jumping into a swimming pool. You know, so if you jump into a swimming pool, it's going to feel really cold when you first get in. But if you stay there, eventually it starts to feel warmer, even though the temperature is exactly the same, right? If you jump into that swimming pool, you jump back out again, you never have that experience. All you feel is the cold and then you have the relief. So that's what people with OCD are typically doing. They're feeling the anxiety of the obsession. They're doing a compulsion immediately to make it go away. What we want is have the obsession, feel that anxiety, just like the cold water, don't do the compulsion. Don't jump out of the pool. So when we're doing ERP, we're saying, all right, stick your toe in the pool, get used to that. Stick your foot in the pool, get used to that, and work your way into it. So it's not you know, jumping in the pool, it's overwhelming, it's really distressing. We're saying, we'll ease into it, we'll do it in a way that's manageable. Still distressing, still doesn't feel good, but it, it, it's doable, it's manageable, and people can actually be successful in resisting the compulsions that come along with it.